Namtukarukma Atong Morodarang. Welcome to Atong Spelling Lesson 11. The usage and spelling of the variant forms of eight pansok bound parts, which cannot be used freely. In this lesson, we will treat the usage and spelling of the variant forms of eight pansok on this list. They are the progressive, the focus, the accusative, the topic, the goal, the imperious future, the change of state, and the factative. The variant forms of these pansok cannot be used freely. Their usage depends on the meaningful part that comes before them in the word. In this video, we will focus only on simple examples of all these meaningful parts. The focus will be mainly on their usages and spellings, and not so much on their meanings or grammatical functions. We will, however, have a brief look at the difference between the customary aspect and the vectative. If you want to know more about the meanings or grammatical functions of these meaningful parts, I suggest you read A Grammar of Atom, written by Seino van Breugel. This book is available at the Nehu Tura Campus University Library, the District Library in Bakmara, and in the Don Bosco or Sacred Heart Parish in Shalang. Let's start with our list of variant forms of eight meaningful parts. Variant forms which cannot be used freely, as you may remember from the previous video, their forms depend on the meaningful part that comes before them in the word. The meaningful part we call progressive durative has many variant forms. As you can see, they are divided into two sets, set 1 and set 2. The variant forms in set 1 all start with the letter A, and the forms in set 2 all start with the letter E. The variant forms of set 2 may be used when the preceding meaningful part ends in a consonant followed by the vowel E, for example, in the words sandierok. Sandieronga, Sandiedonga, etc. The forms in set 1 are used in all other cases, so when the preceding meaningful part does not end in E. For example, in the words Muxuarok, Rayaidonga, Saronga, etc. The meaningful part indicating focus has two variant forms, an and n. The variant form n is used after the word de, meaning any, as in the expression jn sanchi. We can use it in a sentence like this. jn sanchi sa bantai raya pino. The variant form an of the focus meaningful part is used in all other cases. For example, in the word raman, as in the sentence rang wai dok, raman tai kal. The accusative meaningful part has the two variant forms au and tau. The variant form tau is used when the preceding meaningful part ends in the letter sa. For example, in the words pulis tau, jahas tau, and garo hills tau. The variant form au is used in all other cases, as for example, mung mau, morotau, nang au. The topic meaningful part has two variant forms, namely do and odo. The variant form odo is used after the bound change of state meaningful part ok, ak, k. Here you see three sentences where the form odo is used after each of the variant forms of the change of state. 1. Happy dan ramna manokodo jetnaka. 2. Maisa akodo nemkalnaka. 3. The variant form DO is used in all other cases. That means when the preceding meaningful part is not the change of state. Here are two example sentences. 1. Tura sangre inchido ang natupi ra bone. 2. Badri rongdang habay mi ultue. Takang DO. The meaningful part indicating a goal 
has two variant forms, namely na and ona. The variant form ona is used after two different meaningful parts. Ona is used after the change of state ok, ak, and after the progressive durative, which has many variant forms as we have just seen. Here we see three example sentences where the variant form ona of the goal meaningful part is used. 1. Two. The variant form na is used in all other cases. Examples are given in these two sentences. One. Song mi nokumukan wa rara kona wa kamna jango. Two. Uchi rang sok javanasa. De china kengkeng. Rangu tu ring su savanasa. Mukabadri nimuano. The meaningful part indicating imperious future has two variant forms. Naka and ka. The variant form ka is used after the negative meaningful part ta. For example, when someone says Sakubo mai and you reply Sachaka. The variant form naka is used in all other cases, as when we say right naka hai. We have already seen in lesson 10 that the change of state meaningful part has three variant forms, namely ok, ak and k. The variant form ak is used when the preceding meaningful part ends in a or a raka, as in the word saak, betak, saak, sungduak, and taak. The variant form k is used after the negative meaningful part cha, as for example in the words reingan chak, sa chak, and matan chak. But how do we actually know? that it is the variant form k which is used after the negative bound part cha and not ak. Maybe you remember this observation about pronunciation from lesson 9. When the same vowels of two meaningful parts meet, three different pronunciations are possible. As in the word pai chai mung, which is spelled with two letters a next to each other. One letter a comes from the meaningful part cha, the other from the meaningful part ai. Because these two different meaningful parts meet, one ending in a and the other starting with a, three correct pronunciations are possible, namely with long a by chai mung, with short a by chai mung, and with eraka in between the two vowels by chai mung. When we look at words like matanchak and reinganchak, only one pronunciation is possible, which means that two vowels do not meet. We can say matanchak, but not matanchak or matanchak. We can say reinganchak, but not reinganchak or reinganchak. This means that there is only one vowel a, which is the vowel of the meaningful part cha. To make sure our analysis is correct, we can do a replacement test. First, we will replace ak by nothing. The result is matanch. This word does not exist. It is incorrect. Let's then try to replace k by nothing. The result is matancha. This is a correct word. This word exists. We can conclude that the variant form of the change of state meaningful part after the negative cha must be k. The variant form ok is used in all other cases. That is, when the preceding meaningful part does not end in a or a raka or is not the negative cha. Examples of the use of ok are reintokok, sakmanok, and sayok. The factative meaningful part has two variant forms, which are wa and a. 
the form a may be used when the factative comes after the letters ma or pa. The form wa is used in all other cases and may also be used after the letters ma or pa, depending on the speaker. Some people will prefer to say de kapwachian, while others may say de kapachian. Some people may say kemwami, while others may prefer kemami. The difference between the two variant forms wa and a is not used in the pronunciation of all speakers all the time. Some speakers always use a after ma and ba, and others use a or wa after ma and ba. There is nothing wrong with this. It is the way atong is spoken. It is up to the individual writers if they want to make this difference in the spelling of the factative meaningful part after the letters ma and ba. So, depending on their preferred pronunciation, some people may write de kepwachian, while others write de kepachian. Some people may write kemwami, while others may prefer to write kemami. However, in order to make the distinction between the customary aspect meaningful part a and the factative meaningful part wa, I advise to always write the factative as wa, even after ma and pa. This way, the difference is always clear between sentences like these. Depending on who reads it and who pronounces it, the words rpa and rpwa may be pronounced the same or different. Let us look quickly at the difference in meaning between the factative and the customary aspect. Customary aspect a indicates that something usually happens or usually is as it is. Factative wa or a indicates, among other things, that the speaker wants to tell the listener that something really happened or that something is really as it is. Of course, it does not need to be true, but the speaker presents it as if it is true. Let us now look and listen at some examples of the use of the customary aspect meaningful part and the factative meaningful part. You will see and hear some sentences from the story Ha'ba as told by Mr. Negverson M. Sangma from Badri Madugatem. The first seven sentences present the customary aspect meaningful part, A, and the last two sentences present the factative meaningful part, Wa. Let's listen. Paskaba, ha hao tinga, umungsa ha umungsa, watam tana, umungdo, masja somajangti, sawa, ha kamtatidok, ha kuntinga, ha kunmanomusa, my shi kita, umung abong drang tala, datang drang tala, kemung sa, talmanwa matotomusa, my kai tinga, yan haba wa muetias, matot tido, butua gumuk, Kaira taisa matota, song bulaisa ustisa matur kama, pura hawai kama peisawa iya mai kumung hawai peisawa do pura jat jaygak kanang. Golpo gumuk pore na sekwachi iya lingchi sekte pai mung pore bo ma download kap bo, le kami bi mung do atung morot balgeba golpo mengwa. Let's now do an exercise to see what you have remembered. As usual, please get a pen or pencil and a piece of paper ready so that you can write. Exercise 1. Choose the correct variant forms. You will see sentences where some words have a blank line in them. Under the sentences, you will see meaningful parts. Choose the correct variant forms of the meaningful parts to put on the lines. For example, you will see the sentence aya dong tawancha blank line te ang tangka blank line. Under the sentence, you see the variant forms of the change of state and the topic meaningful parts. Choose the correct variant form for each words with the blank line. The correct forms are of course ke for number one and do for number two. Aya. You get 10 seconds for each sentence 
and 6 seconds to look at the solutions, so pause the video when necessary. You will have to solve 12 words in this exercise. Are you ready? Here we go! Words 1 and 2 Solutions Words 3 and 4 Solutions Words 5 and 6 Solutions Words 7 and 8 Solutions Words 9 and 10 Solutions Words 11 and 12 Solutions Exercise Jammo Let us do one more exercise before ending this lesson. Exercise 2 Analysis of words This means the same thing as find the meaningful parts. You will see and hear 9 Atong words. What are the meaningful parts in each word? Write the words on your paper with hyphens between the meaningful parts. If a meaningful part has a variant form that can also be used in that word, also write the variant form. This may be a variant form that can be used freely or not freely. You will see, for example, the word sa chai mung. You analyze the word like this with hyphens sa cha ai mung. You notice that the meaningful part mung has variant forms that may also be used in this word. So you write them down too, like this. Mu, mung, mungna. There will be nine words in this exercise. After I have read the nine words, pause the video until you have completed the exercise. Are you ready? Here we go. 1. Balrukan chak. 2. Sakona 3. Raitnaka 4. Bai Sigadarangao 5. The Kepatian 6. Jeuteranokmo 7. Sungduga 8. Sangwalchaka 9. Sengruk Tokarong Exercise Jamok Let me give you the solutions. In number 1, the meaningful part, which is a dull, Bal can also be replaced by its variant form ol, olrukan chak. In number four, the meaningful part sega can be replaced by its variant form siga. In number five, the factative meaningful part a can be replaced by its variant form wa. In number 8, the word sangwal has the regional variant awan, awan chaka. The meaningful part indicating progressive durative in number 9 has many variant forms. As you may remember, in this case, only the forms of set 1, starting with a, can be used. In this lesson, 
we have learned about the usage and spelling of the variant forms of eight pansok, variant forms which cannot be used freely. Which variant forms can be used depends on the meaningful part that comes before it in the word. We have done a replacement test to prove that it is the form k of the change of state meaningful part ok a k, which comes after the negative part cha. And we know a little bit about the difference between the customary aspect and the factative. In the next video, we will see that one consonant is enough in the spelling of dull roots with more than one syllable. Chitsagabak gamjamok. Chaiga aumetela. Sengabaga nang chido, ma atong babal na sik chido, iye pidio cha machi ganangaba saigaba hapchi sayaribo. Iye pidio wa unem nukwachi, like button chi sik debbo. Walnam.